Hurricane Larry has been strengthening at a modest rate in the last 24 hours and remains a Category 1 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. Currently at 14.8 north, 41.5 degrees west, way out in the central Atlantic Ocean. Right now it has sustained winds of 90 miles per hour and a central pressure around 980 millibars. That's as of 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or Atlantic Standard Time, 7 p.m. UTC, September 3rd. Here's the storm's current location depicted on the map and its wind field. Um, so a much larger wind field than it was yesterday morning when we did our first update on the storm uh, and that is likely to grow continuously as the storm continues towards the west-northwest and gradually curves northwards. Currently 1205 miles from Barbados, 1283 from Martinique, 1349 from Antigua, 1896 from Bermuda and 2300 from Newfoundland. Yesterday when we were looking at those numbers I believe Barbados was still around 1800 miles away so it's cleared 600 miles or so since yesterday morning when we did the first update. So we expect strengthening will continue as time goes on and it will peak uh, as a major hurricane still and we're expecting that to happen fairly soon. Here's the current wind speed estimates, ADT actually going a little bit lower than the current estimates from National Hurricane Center and from ourselves right now in the 80s it was higher than the uh, official numbers yesterday uh, and this is what the National Hurricane Center are expecting over the next five days major hurricane status they're expecting a sustained peak for a good while actually as a category 4 I think the last two days of that five day period of both category 4 um, dots those would be the last four dots on that uh, cone and you can see it heading a little bit um, scarily towards Bermuda towards the end uh, as it uh, takes on a gradual recurve. Don't forget the storm could arrive anywhere within that cone over the next five days. The GFS model shows the storm gradually intensifying and having a massive wind field as it continues northwards there. Uh, by the time it gets up there, the look at the tropical storm force wind field in particular, you can see how much it um, and completely um, outsizes a lot of those US states that are far away to the west. This is the rainfall expectations. So the red zones are probably looking over 10 inches of rainfall, of course, all at sea locations. But you can see how the rain swath also increases in size massively uh, as it continues on towards the northwest. We're really not expecting it to impact the uh, Lesser Antilles at this point, but of course it could provide rough seas from, from those islands all the way up the eastern seaboard of the United States. Sea surface temperatures are very warm ahead of the storm, up to around 28 degrees Celsius into the Sargasso Sea and continuing for quite some time past Bermuda there. So the NHC is actually on the upper band of the model runs actually right now. The CTCX only coming in at the end there to reach mid-range category 4. Wind shear though is not going to stop this storm, it's going to be very low for the next 3 or even 4 days. Sea surface temperatures are reaching their minimum now and will start to rise when we get towards the 5th of September and relative humidity is going to drop a little bit and then rise again. The models there, only a small spread, pretty much the National Hurricane Center cone. Satellite imagery right now, you can see convection firing up towards the southern side of the storm primarily. The eye coming out a little bit more in those more recent frames, although it still appears that there's some weakness there on the northern side. Larry, a decently sized storm so far, uh, nothing um, really uh, exceptional right now, but it will start to become quite a very large storm as it continues towards the west-northwest as we saw with that wind and rain swath. It will start to become apparent on visible images pretty soon as well.